Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading September 16 to 22nd, guys, 2019. And bear with me for a couple of uh, seconds here to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which represents the topic of uh, our week here is going to be the Knight of Pentacles, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that we need to overcome, this is going to be the Devil card, and then we do have the positive aspect of the week, that will be the uh, Nine of Swords, and then the last one here, it is the Five of Pentacles which represents the guidance the Tarot is offering to us, the Scorpios. So. <clears throat> It looks like a hard and slow push that we are to uh, incorporate throughout the week, probably with a, a person that we are to cooperate, not probably, but most likely, most definitely, because the Knight of Pentacles stands into a prime position. But the thing here, I, it is that, uh, how do I say it? It is that um, whatever plights we are facing at, all right, uh, we don't have to face them on our own. And there is always someone that can help us with it. Now, this isn't like a, a, a cooperation dictated by uh, by obligatories, right? That, that, that this cooperation can, may or may not happen or can or cannot happen. I, it is a it is entirely your choice. In my book, it is time for us Scorpios to put our pride on the shelf. And when we do need help, we need to ask for it. So, you know, we can overcome our plights. But before we go into that, guys, let's run that. Uh, let's run down the cards one more time. So uh, the first one here, Knights of Pentacles, which stands as the topic. Then it is the Devil card, which represents the challenges we need to overcome. Afterwards is going to be the Nine of Swords, which stands for the guidance the Tarot is offering. And then the last one is going to be the Five of Pentacles, which represents the guidance. All right. So, yeah, once again, the, the topic, the challenge, the positive aspect and then the guidance. All right. So Knights of Pentacles here as the topic is catalyzed or accompanied with the Hierophant card. So now we see that uh, that person, it's uh, it's around you purely out of trust and reliability. That person isn't in it uh, because they are going to pull out great dividends from uh, the lucrivity of your project or from the relationship itself. They are in it. It is because they feel that they belong by your side in any case, either through um, through happiness or through poignancy, it does not matter. It is just they feel you as the part of their life. They feel themselves as a part of your life. And for that reason, uh, the only way you can get rid of this uh, Knights of Pentacles here, it is uh, by, um, <clears throat> you, can, you, 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 you shoot it right into their face that you don't 
need them anymore or you don't want them around anymore because whatever you do it doesn't look like that they're gonna take it in the wrong way now important thing to be acknowledged with the knights of pentacles is that they are rather very meticulous people all right and they always know what they want so they want to be next by you all right or by your side and that will not change i mean i i can't imagine what you can do in order to change that but the point is that also they are very cautious and whatever actions they do those actions always make sense in a, in a meaning that they're always supported with certain determination they don't do things just out for the for, for the things in giggles all right they always have a, a goal but the thing is that they're also very simple people okay they don't kind of like build up a sophisticated plans for the future like they're not chess players if you want to say it that way they're more like a people that uh, takes one thing at the time and when they deal with one of the problems they then tend to the, to the next one when they uh, accomplish a, a certain milestone they go to the next one it's just they don't think for the next one before they accomplish a the current one so the challenges that you are to face here that is going to be the devil uh, and the catalyst or the accompanied card is going to be the tree of pentacles passive supporters it is what we do have here so uh it is um it's a bit difficult to explain this particular combination it does uh its manifestation resides into your unyielding wishes all right or unyielding yearnings that not necessarily cannot be achieved but they just cannot be achieved right now in this moment so this reading here takes place of that you need to reprioritize you know your environment for what it seems and uh instead of trying to face everything on your own just like i said all right you need to allow someone to help you or you need to allow someone to carry you on it, it, it really looks like a, a carrying on or holding one's hand here into uh into this reading now these two cards however are saying that should you not should you not be uh open for additional um additional presence into your endeavors like a career or like a relationship you know uh it is very unlikely that you are to face support in regards to your future development so that's why you need to allow people to get closer to you we need to allow people to get closer to us share more all right listen more to what people have to say to you and uh, do not try to or do not impulsively go for the yearnings of i would say of your soul because everybody has an insatiable hunger for something uh for some people it's money for other it's love you know for for um for others it's freedom as well but there are certain things that needs to be accomplished before those uh those hungers can be satisfied and throughout this week we are laying down the foundation of those necessities we need to accomplish first before we can make our hunger satisfied now the uh, positive aspect is going to be the nine of swords and it's catalyzed or accompanied here with the nine of wands so it's uh, these two cards serves as a breaks right breaks just before an inevitable error or not inevitable but uh irreversible error can be uh, is um uh, is established right uh in a sense of that <clears throat> before you do something stupid or before you do something that you are to regret for example for the rest of your life or for a quite a long time from now uh, something within yourself is gonna kind of like start poking you around not giving you the the deter the the enough determination to make up your mind in regards to this um, to this action that is going to be of a, a great mistake so in other words for what it seems Scorpio you or we I would say are pretty much bulletproof in a sense of making unfixable errors and unfixable mistakes either regarding our career or either regarding our marriage and a big portion of it or a big finger in it is going to have our acute awareness of the circumstance not the circumstances but the consequences that our actions are going to bear all right so it's very unlikely that you're going that we are going to piss off our partners so much that they're going to break with us it is unlikely that we're going to piss off our um 
bosses so much that they're going to fire us and etc etc but that doesn't mean that we have to be unreasonable all right when you do on what when we do have hunches of the consequences that are to accompany our actions we need to listen to those hunches and then the last card that we do have it is the five of pentacles which is the guidance it's catalyzed by the four of swords and uh, the formation it is a, a passive enemies that we do have so it is uh, it is what that com uh, that combines all the reading it is the glue in the reading here says once again that we don't have to face everything on our own all right it is time to uh, acknowledge you know what we lack because we are not almighty in everything. We may lack skills in a certain field that we have to push through right now. Uh, we may lack knowledge as well into that specific field. We may be experts in another, but not in this one. And so instead of um, looking around for, uh, how do I say, for guidance, we have to uh, allow those who are capable enough to help us to come around and help us. This isn't about consultation. This isn't about, um, uh, you know, sharing ideas or absorbing knowledge because for the time that presses us, it's not enough that we can become an, an expert into this field, either career or relationship wise. And we need to allow the other person or another person, you know, to take it off from here and do their part into our lives. So that being said, Scorpio, it does look like that uh, this week, whatever we are stressed about and we are trying so much, but no, no progress or no significant progress whatsoever is done. You know, the right source of help is going to come around and will uh, help us physically, that is. All right. So it's going to take care for a lot of things for us. Um, <clears throat> So it's going to, yeah, it's going to take care of a lot of things for us. It's going to come around and there is no need for us to say no. OK, the only thing we say no is if we talk out of pride or of greed, because the uh, the benefits at the end, although are big benefits, uh, we may not be willing to share them. And we don't have to, but it is just that mentality we may have that since someone helps us, they will want the piece of the pie at the end. And that's not going to be the case in this case. So, yeah, that being said, Scorpio, this was our weekly tarot reading, September 16th to September 22nd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.